Hey guys, I'm going to tell you about the barrel eye fish. There are several species of barrel eye fish, and they can vary in their body shape, but they all inhabit depths from about 400 meters to 2,500 meters. They are named because of their tubular shaped eyes. No, those aren't eyes on the front of their heads. They are olfactory organs, similar to human nostrils. Their eyes are the two globs on top of their head. These ultra-sensitive tubular eyes are covered by a green fluid shield. The green shield is an optical clarifying filter that filters the surface light above them. This fish can locate prey even in the pitch black scenery of the abyss. Their eyes are pointed upward so that they can detect the silhouettes of the prey above them but they are also capable of rotating their eyes forward so that they can see what they are eating. And as you can see, their eyes do protrude from their head, but they are covered by a large transparent dome. They are ambush predators. When their sensitive eyes detect prey above them, they swim upward to grab it. They have a strong digestive system, so they often feed on jellyfish, or they can steal organisms from the tentacles of jellyfish and siphonophores. They have what is called a crumenal organ, also known as a epibronchial organ, which functions much like a gizzard in that it grinds up ingested food. Its transparent dome may serve to protect its eyes from the stinging cells called nematocysts from the siphonophore's tentacles. They have no teeth only a small mouth with a long snout that they can use to suck in prey with precision. These fish are normally under 20 centimeters long. They have elongated flat fins on their sides that allow them to float motionlessly through the water. Some species even have luminous organs called photophores along the length of their body. The light is produced by symbiotic bioluminescent bacteria in the organs. The bioluminescence may be for the use of a predator avoidance mechanism called counterillumination. This involves emitting light so that when a predator below them looks up, the barrel eye is able to blend in with the vague light above them. These fish were first discovered by a marine biologist in 1939, though at first the presence of its transparent head was unknown. This is because its fragile dome was destroyed when it was brought up to the surface by the use of a net. It wasn't until 2004, with the advance in technology, that an underwater camera was able to film a live fish. When spawning, the fish released their eggs into the water. The fertilized eggs hatch into larva. The larva drifts near the surface, and as it develops, it continues to descend toward the abyss. If you like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button below for more unique marine animal videos. And feel free to leave a comment below about which ocean dweller I should talk about next.